rolls and rolls and rolls of film. Well, let's see what we've got here. For six decades, Bob Peterson and his camera traveled the world, often on assignment for Sports Illustrated or Life magazine. I mean, there was a Life magazine I did on the mob. People versus these bad guys. Life photographed by Bob Peterson. Chronicling events. The Mexico Olympics, 1968. Immortalizing celebrities at the top of their game. Walk through the hits of the late 60s, early 70s. Well, like Mario Puzo, you know. I, here he is at Paramount Pictures writing the screenplay for The Godfather. My, my first cover for life was Norman Mailer. That photo came in handy. A few months later, my wife Lynn was pregnant with our first child, Cole, and uh, we were getting ready to go to the hospital. And uh, she said, oh my goodness, I'm supposed to bring something to stare at during labor. And uh, I said, wait a minute, I'll get, I ran back in the house. There was the magazine, so I tore the cover off and we went to the hospital and stuck that up on the wall and all through labor, she looked at Norman Mailer up on the wall with those piercing blue eyes and remembers it to the day. Peterson started taking pictures when he got his first camera at the age of 12. He went on to attend the University of Washington. I was already a photographer and I knew I wanted to do that, but there were no photography classes. So I decided, well, the thing I like to photograph the most, people, and sociology is the study of people. So I became a sociology major. I worked on the daily, I worked on the yearbook. Shooting athletics at the University of Washington, they, they paid me well to give them pictures. I was one of the first photographers to use 35 millimeter telephoto lenses on the football field. So I could zoom in on the faces of the coaches and the quarterbacks and the running backs. While at the UW, Peterson even photographed President John F. Kennedy. I was walking around the side to go in the front entrance to Denny Hall and I looked in a window as I was walking by and I, somebody looked familiar in there. And there was Kennedy talking with Pierre Salinger and I banged off five or six shots. He also shot photos for many ads, including for Nike. Now he's sharing some of his all-time favorite images in a new book. Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry. Here's the bad guy up here. This was uh, Michael Jordan in red. It was his first photo shoot for Nike when he got signed. I got this wonderful shaft of light and uh, I just banged off a few rolls. It's just a chronicle of a slightly different time, filled with wonderful people, people that made a difference, people that were important. Those important people include his family. There are photos of his wife, Lynn, their children and grandchildren. I guess what I'd like to perhaps have people get out of looking at this book is uh, a look back at a different time, maybe a kinder, gentler time. It was a wonderful life. I mean, life was a wonderful life. It was, uh, it was a good time.